All right, we got breaking news in Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. A source telling NBC News, former Trump campaign aide Rick Gates is expected to plead guilty today, an indication he is cooperating with the special counsel. Can you just put this in perspective? So Rick Gates, at this moment, possibly pleading guilty, cooperating with Mueller, at the same time, President Trump's audience at CPAC, what are they chanting? Lock her up. Uh, things to do with Hillary Clinton. Lock her up. Yeah. Hillary Clinton, who is now a private citizen living her life, and there you have an image right there. Rick Gates in a black car, possibly cooperating, pleading guilty. Rick Gates, and we know who has already. Mike Flynn, George Papandopoulos, and uh, Paul Manafort has been indicted. All right, let's Put bring that in, in perspective. NBC News Intelligence and National Security Reporter Ken Delanian and MSNBC legal analyst Danny Savalas. Thanks to both of you. Ken, let's start with you. Give us the significance of this development in the investigation. Ali, I think this is a hugely significant development. It has been expected for some time. There was a little bit of confusion yesterday about whether Gates was pulling back, had fired his lawyer, his new lawyer, Thomas Green, who is known for cutting deals with the Justice Department. But now, as you said, NBC News and other outlets are reporting that he is expected to plead guilty uh, as soon as today um, and is expected to be cooperating. Here's where this is hugely significant. He was Paul Manafort's right-hand man and close associate for years. They are charged together. They were a series of new charges was leveled against them yesterday, bank fraud and tax fraud allegations. So if Gates is cooperating, this puts enormous pressure on Paul Manafort, who is 68 years old and already facing under the guidelines 15 years in prison, puts enormous pressure on Manafort to cut a deal. And Manafort is the one that Mueller appears to really want because of what he could potentially say about, about Trump campaign collusion with Russians, guys. And Danny, this is what's important here, and that is that Gates knows stuff about Manafort, and we assume that uh, Mueller believes that Manafort holds the key to figuring out what happened at that June 9th meeting, what has happened with uh, various contacts with the Russians. So is it your impression that he is continuing to, he's got Gates to turn on Manafort so that the Manafort defense has to change or, or Manafort's got to cut a deal? You've got it. That is the likely inference that we can draw from this. U.S. attorneys don't typically enter into these agreements unless the benefit outweighs the loss because, after all, they're agreeing to prosecute someone a little less than they otherwise would have done. And that seems to be the case here. Gates leads to Manafort. Gates and Manafort were in business together for a very long time. And the other interesting thing is they were already charged. They were already indicted. Uh -huh. And now there are these new indictments, which suggests possibly that they were close to a deal with Gates, but then why hit him with this you know, left hook, this final haymaker uh, of these 32 new counts? Could it have been to absolutely secure his cooperation? That's a possibility. But what to get to this plea agreement, to get to this cooperation, Gates had to sit down with those prosecutors in advance and convince them, number one, that he's telling the truth, and number two, that he has information that impresses those U.S. attorneys, information uh -huh. that they want so much uh -huh. that they'll enter into an agreement to later on make a recommendation to a sentencing judge, a 5K1 motion, to reduce his sentence. They don't enter, the U.S. attorneys don't enter into those agreements lightly. They do it only if they think the, uh, the reward is worth what they're giving them. Okay, up. Ken Delanian, so these are heavy uh, indictments. As you mentioned, you know, 15 years, Paul Manafort could spend the rest of his life. But what if the president pardons him? That's a really interesting question, Stephanie. I think we should all be looking for that and doing some reporting on whether that is on the table. But as you know, it's been reported that the New York Attorney General is conducting his own investigation into Manaf Manafort's conduct. And, and if any fi state charges were filed against Paul Manafort or anyone else, that would be out of reach of a presidential so, pardon. President okay. Trump cannot pardon someone on state so charges. So walk me through this. Let's say it's money laundering they're focused on if it's Jared and Jared's business. And if Mueller's team handed uh, this investigation and, uh, of Jared and his family business to, let's say, the Brooklyn DA, would that be within the president's reach to pardon somebody that's that the Brooklyn DA is going after, Danny? No, the president cannot pardon state crimes. There are some, not many, but some limitations on the pardon power. And Jared's uh, business, I mean, that's a New York family real estate business. Exactly. Now, the president could use language that pardons these, in, these defendants for any and all crimes they may have committed, uh, or he could make it as narrow as these particular indicted crimes. If he does that, then there's the possibility that Mueller is holding on to other charges, not just the possibility, the reality, because we've seen he was doing exactly that. He charged them, and then he charged them again. 
again several months later. So while there are very few strictures on the pardon power, one of them is that it is completely ineffective uh, against state crimes. And uh, in addition, it's ineffective as to future conduct. If there's anything that you're going to do in the future, but you know, pardons can be uh, very broadly or very narrowly drawn, and the president theoretically could do it with a tweet. He could do it with a tweet. All right, Ken, Danny, thank you both so much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.